Hey there, everybody. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is the Jordan Report, and I'm your host, Robert Jordan. Everyone, please remember to like, subscribe, and share. Okay, guys, I'm going to show everybody what the Democrats mean when they're talking about criminal justice reform. What the Democrats are actually doing is redefining what crime is, redefining what a crime is. Violent crime no longer matters. Okay, they're more into social crimes now, if you'll notice. So they're releasing these dangerous people and society is paying the price. Let me show you just what happened in Chicago. This is this is some more of Kim Fox's work, by the way. Chicago gun store looter released murders Walgreens clerk. This just happened about 10 days ago. Not in, yeah, maybe about a week ago. Perhaps some bad news can at least result in a lesson being learned. Though in this case, it comes too late for one Chicago sales clerk. Last week, prosecutors report 18-year-old Sincere Williams had robbed three stores in the Wicker Park neighborhood of Chicago, including the local Walgreens. Apparently not satisfied with his take from those robberies, Williams returned to the Walgreens last Sunday with more on his mind than simple theft. Armed with either one or two knives, Williams proceeded to stab the store clerk Olga Marie Calderon nearly a dozen times before calmly walking out of the store covered in blood, leaving Calderon to die on the floor of the shop. Prosecutors further assert that this was a premeditated killing because Williams had stashed a change of clothes nearby, switching outfits before ditching his knife in some bushes and walking back home. He managed to cut himself in the process and had to be taken to a local hospital for stitches. What made this crime all more disturbing, William wasn't unknown to law enforcement. In fact, he had robbed a gun shop in March of this year, stealing 14 handguns before quickly being apprehended by the police. The gun shop owner is outraged that he had been put back on the street so quickly and maintains that Olga Marie Calderon would be alive today had the previous crimes been taken more serious. This is Kim Fox work, people. This is why Chicago is so dangerous. Look who they're releasing on the streets. Let me show you the local news clip. This is very fast. We're going to get out of here. The family of a Walgreens employee who was killed while working says her death could have been prevented. 32-year-old Olga Maria Calderon was stocking shelves in a Walgreens in Wicker Park 10 days ago when she was attacked and stabbed to death. 18-year-old Sincere Williams was arrested and charged with murder. A judge had recently taken Williams off electronic monitoring after Williams was charged with breaking into a Melrose Park gun shop and stealing 14 handguns. He's also suspected in two other robberies, including one at the same Walgreens. Calderon's fiance says multiple warning signs were ignored. We need to make sure that the mistakes that happened before this event never happen again. That this person, if he needs help, that he gets it. That the state's attorney does her job this time and cares. State's attorney Kim Fox's office says the decision to take Williams off monitoring was up to a judge. Calderon's family attorneys say they want to know why Fox's office didn't object. They also say the Walgreens store dropped its security service in March and didn't rehire one despite the recent robbery and other thefts there. Okay, guys, that's what they call criminal justice reform. 